Welcome to St. Francis Friary in New York City. Join us now as we remember the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, as we celebrate the Via Crucis in the 14th station of Christ's expression of love for us, preparing for his death. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our sorrows and enables us to comfort those who are in need with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the sufferings of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. Most high glorious God, enlighten the darkness of our hearts, instill in us a faith that is unwavering, a hope that is secure, a love that is perfect with sensitivity and knowledge so that we may accomplish your holy and true command. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter and like a sheep that is before its shears is silent. Pilate brings Jesus before the crowd, sentences him to death, and then washes his own hands, claiming that he could find no reason to condemn Jesus. Lord, when I am misjudged, I recognize the injustice immediately, and yet I often find myself ready to judge others or to listen to gossip. Lord, teach me patience and help me to treat others with openness, respect, and kindness. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I have come not for the well, but for the sick. Lord Jesus, have mercy on us and heal us. Tired from a night of questioning and torment, Jesus acts in obedience and love, taking up the heavy cross beam, the weight of the wood and the weight of the world. Lord, help me to remember that you are no stranger to suffering. Whether the burdens of this day are heavy with worry and pain, or just weary from the routines of the day, help me to remember that you are with me so that I may find healing, comfort, and companionship in your presence. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Though he was the Son of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, becoming obedient even to death, death on a cross. Lord, when I fall, when I sin or make a mistake, I always hope nobody else noticed. When you fell, there was a whole crowd watching, and yet you went on your mission to save us all. Knowing that you have come to love and to save and not to condemn, gives us the courage to acknowledge my failings and to reconcile myself with you and with those I've hurt. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And your own soul, a sword shall pierce that the thoughts of many may be revealed. As Jesus and Mary look at each other, each would spare the other the pain of this moment, but both knew there is no turning back. Jesus, so often the pain of family and friends leaves me feeling frustrated and powerless. The daily news accounts of violence, hunger, and natural disaster are overwhelming. 
Yet, Lord, you have called us to mourn and have promised us your comfort. Open our eyes, our ears, and our hearts to those who suffer. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Those who wish to follow me must take up their cross. It was Simon, a foreigner in Jerusalem, who was chosen to assist Jesus in carrying out the Father's will. Jesus, you have called each of us to join you in your mission. Give us the freedom to hear your call and the grace to respond with generosity and perseverance, joining our efforts to yours to bring about your kingdom. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Moved by compassion, one woman stepped from the crowd, removes her head covering, and wipes the sweat and blood from the face of Jesus. Though she did not know it, Veronica saw and touched the face of God. You have taught us that when we give a cup of water to someone in need, we serve you. Instill in us, Lord, the compassion and determination of Veronica, who without fear for her person and reputation, was willing to serve. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Knowing that the end is near, Jesus falls again, increasing the pain and length of the journey. Jesus, so many times when I fail to succeed, I want to give up. Teach me to nourish and to use my gifts, skills, and talents, that I may be light and a help to others, and a witness to your grace. Help me to persevere in the face of failure or rejection. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus said to the women, weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. Jesus, have mercy on us. Jesus knows that he is fulfilling his mission. These women see what is before them, a man of sorrows. Jesus, help me to follow the Spirit's direction so that I may respond to what most needs my attention in myself, my family, and the larger community. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When you were young, you buckled your own belt. You went where you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will put out your hands. Others will put their belts on you. They will take you where you do not want to go. Jesus makes this journey willingly. He gives himself to others' control because it is the Father's will. Jesus, as we go through life, our dreams, expectations, and abilities change. By your example, may we learn to accept what is ours to do and to endure what we cannot change. May we be at peace in that acceptance. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. 
The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They've divided my garments among them. And for my clothing, they cast lots. The soldiers administered one last humiliation. Lord Jesus, you surrendered yourself so that I might be freed by your love. Nonetheless, Lord, all too often I hold on to shame, guilt, fear, grudges, and false images of myself. Jesus, strip me of these things, which keep me from living in the peace that is your gift. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And when they came to Golgotha, there they crucified him. Along with two criminals, one on his left and one on his right. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. Jesus, in death as in life, you are in the company of sinners. Hanging on the cross, you make one more pronouncement, a promise that the repentant sinner will be with you in paradise. May those words give me comfort when I face the death of a loved one, as well as at my own death. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. The suffering of Jesus is over, his earthly mission completed. Jesus, whenever I stand before your cross, I struggle to understand the suffering you endured. Then I look at you and realize it is not your suffering, but your love that you most want me to know and practice. Fill me, Lord, with your love and compassion. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Because the Jewish leaders did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. But when the soldiers came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. Lord, what was it like for your mother and your followers to receive your lifeless body? Though washed by the water of baptism and nourished by the Eucharist, I sometimes feel confused and alone. Strengthen my trust in you. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. The earthly life of Jesus cut short. His mother and followers do not even have the comfort of performing the customary rituals over his body. Jesus, there was so much left for you to do. There is so much still to do. As we pray these stations, we remember that you live, risen and victorious, and we give you thanks for the gift of yourself and offer ourselves to you. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Let us pray. We who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. 
we were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. Lord Jesus, help us to live in gratitude and grace. Through the cross which brought our salvation, may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and thank you for joining us.